Hello everyone and welcome. Before jumping into today's topic, let me remind you to like this video and share it with all your friends. Today, we are going to talk about maths, multiplication to be a bit more specific, and the nine times table to be even more precise. This video will look at patterns that you can see in the nine times table to hopefully help you remember the stations there. Before jumping into those patterns, let's go over the stations of the nine times table. So, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 8 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, and 9 times 10 is 90. And here they are here, just to make sure I was correct. Now, can you already see any patterns in the 9 times table between 1 and 10? If not, let's go a bit deeper. I'm going to highlight the units. Can you see anything happening with those numbers? Well, I've noticed that they are counting down from nine. The units column goes down nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So that's one pattern that's in the nine times table. Let's highlight the tens column. Can we see anything there that might help us? we're seeing the reverse. We're seeing that the numbers are actually counting up from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So our units are counting down. Our tens are counting up. Are there any other patterns that we can notice? Let me highlight these two columns. So we have the number that we're multiplying by nine and the tens column of the answer. Can we see any sort of relationship between those numbers? Well, the relationship I see is the number that we're multiplying by is one more than it's in the tens column answer. So if we're multiplying by four in the tens column, there'll be a three. If we're multiplying by eight in the tens column, there'll be a seven. So that's three patterns already. We can see that the units are counting down from nine. We can see the tens are counting up from zero. And we can see that the number we're multiplying by nine and in the tens column, there's a difference of one. There's one final pattern that I want you to see. Let's look at the answers a bit closer. Let's split those digits up and add them together. What do we get? Well, here, if you can see, Every single answer, when we split the numbers up and add them together, they make 9. 0 plus 9 is 9, 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, and because of the commutative law, we can swap those numbers around and we would still get the same answer. So there are four patterns in the 9 times table that can hopefully help you remember what station is in the nine times table and that you've got the right answer to your multiplication. Did you learn anything new? Do you have any other tips or tricks to help remember the nine times table? Let me know in the comments below and as always take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed this I highly recommend clicking this video over here because YouTube thinks you would like it. Now, I try my best to post every single week and the best way to keep in touch is to be subscribed by clicking my face, which should be about here, or clicking the red button down below. And be sure to hit the bell to be notified when I next post. I hope that you are well and that the rest of your day is fantastic.